everyone. Welcome to our online lesson. Now, for those of you who have joined us for the very first time, welcome to Discovery Land. Now, just in case you were not able to join us last week, here's a quick recap. Now I hope all of us remembered what we have learned last week. Right now, it's time for us to praise and worship God. So wherever you are, I want to invite you to stand. That's right. Let's stand and let's give God our best praise and worship. Come on, children, wherever you are, let's rise our feet and give God a big praise. Woo! Let's declare this song together that nothing is impossible. I can do anything And I can do all things Cause it's you who gives me strength Nothing is impossible Come on, let's clap together I'm not gonna live I'm not gonna live Deep down I know that you're here with me I know that you can do anything Through you I can do anything I can do all things Cause it's you who gives me strength Nothing is impossible Through you blind eyes I see it, I speak to every limitation I speak to every limitation Your victory is my declaration Same power, the same power That raised you from the grave We believe in Him. And I believe, I believe. And I believe, I believe in You. I believe, I believe. And I believe, I believe in You. I believe, I believe. And I believe, I believe in You. I believe, I believe. And I believe, I believe in You. You, I can do anything. I can do all things. Cause it's you who gives me strength. Nothing is impossible. Through you, blind eyes are open. Strongholds are broken. I am living by faith. Nothing is impossible. I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe in you. I believe, I believe. And I believe, I believe in you. Come on, give God a big shout of praise. Come, children, just raise your hands wherever you are. 
just sing a song of praise, a song of love to Jesus. Just love Him, just love Him. Oh, we love You, Lord. Oh, we love You, Jesus. Thank You, Lord, captured by and captured by your beauty broken at your feet and desperate for a touch of you my Lord changed by your glory Changed by your glory And overwhelmed by grace Lord, I know, Lord, I know I'll never be the same And again, And for as long as I have breath, my lips will glorify, and I will sing praise to you, my King. Come on, sing that again. Captured by. Captured by your beauty Broken at your feet Desperate for a touch of you My Lord Oh, we are changed And changed by your glory Overwhelmed by grace Lord, I know Lord, I know I'll never be the same And again Sing it out Hallelujah And hallelujah For as long as I have breath, for as long and for as long as I have breath, and for as long as I have breath, my lips will glorify and I will sing. Your love is higher, higher than the heavens. Sing it out. Your mercy is deeper, deeper than the earth. Your grace, your grace is wider, wider than the oceans. And I will never let you go. 
never ever let you go. Come on, sing it out to Him. Lord, you're more than anything. You're more than gold and more than anything. Lord, you're everything to me. And I will never let you go. I'll never ever let you go. Come on, sing that again. Lord, you are more than anything. And Lord, you're more than anything. You're more than gold. You're more than gold. And more than anything. Lord, you're everything to me. And I will never, I will never let you go. Your grace, your grace is wider, wider than the oceans. I will never let you go. I'll never ever let you go. Your love is higher, higher than the heavens. Your mercy is deeper. Deeper than the earth Your grace is wider Wider than the oceans And I will never let you go I'll never ever let you go Never let you go, Lord Oh, we worship you Sing a new song to Jesus Sing a song of love Oh, sing a song of praise to Him Oh, we love You, Lord Oh, we love You, Lord Thank You for Your love your love. Thank you for your love, oh Lord. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Your love is higher, higher than the heavens. Your mercy is deeper, deeper than the earth. Your grace is wider, wider than the oceans, and I will never let you go, never ever let, I will never, and I will never let you go, I'll never ever let you Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for your presence, Lord, that is with us. We thank you for your sweet presence, Lord, because it reminds us of your love and how much you love us. And so, God, we thank you and we ask that your presence will continue, Lord, to be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And our children, we have just worshipped God with our voices and our, and our actions. And right now, it's time for us to worship God with our giving. And right now, wherever you are, I want you, first of all, to take a seat and I want you to prepare your offering because in a moment's time, we are going to give to God. That's right, we are going to give to God. Now, how can we give? Okay, we already said that, you know, because we are not able to come to church physically and to meet. So what we can do is we can put our offering in either our piggy bank or in an envelope. And when we are able to meet 
and to come to church, that's where you bring your offering to church. Have you gotten your offering ready? Very good. And right now, I want you to close your eyes, bow your heads, and let's pray for the offering. Thank you, Jesus. Dear God, we thank you for blessing us. We thank you for blessing us and our parents that we are able to give to you. God, we pray that you will take our offering and use it, Lord, to extend your kingdom and to expand it so that many, many people can come to know you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, children, this is a very special weekend, isn't it? It's a very special and exciting weekend. Why? It is because it is National Day weekend. And you, as you can tell, I'm dressed for the occasion. But So right now, what I want you to do is wherever you are, I want to invite you to stand. That's right, stand up. Why? It's because we are going to sing the national anthem together. Come on, people of God, even as children, we can pray for our nation. Come on, you lift your hands, lift your voice right now. Father, we thank you for our, our nation called Singapore. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this beautiful land, this beautiful island. Thank you for the wonderful buildings that we have. And Father, we pray that you will bless our land so that our land will grow from glory to glory, that the prosperity of heaven will come upon our land. Father, as people of God, we want to pray for our government. And so we pray for Prime Minister Lee Sin Lun. We pray for him that you will grant him good health. We pray for him and all the ministers, uh, the cabinet ministers, as well as the opposition ministers. Lord, bless them, use them powerfully. And then Lord, let them be united. Father, we want to pray for the churches in Singapore. Bless every church. Bless our church, Trinity, and bless all the churches in Singapore that we will grow from glory to glory. And may we see salvation come into uh, our churches. And Lord, may every children in Singapore experience a touch of your grace. And so we thank you as we commit Singapore into your loving hand. In Jesus' name. And God, God's people say, God's young people say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Don, for that wonderful prayer. So children, you can take a quick seat. That's right. And we are right now, we are going to head into our lesson. But before that, we need to get ready three items. What are those? That's right, you guessed it. Bible, stationery, journal. Are you ready? Let's go! Of course, all the time. I'm sure he only speaks to us at 8 a.m., 12 p.m., and 7 p.m. Uh, I'm not too sure about that, but my dad prays for me before I sleep, so it must be 9 p.m. 
But what about where God speaks to us? Does He only speak to us at some places? I think that God can only talk to us in some places, like when we're nearer to the church or in the building. That's because we're closer to our service hall and then we can hear Him better. But I always thought that God speaks to us at high places, like on a bridge or a high floor. What? Why? Because it's closer to heaven! <sighs> Hey boys and girls, wow, I can see that Gabriel and Nicole have many different questions about how God speaks to us. They also have many different and funny answers. Some of you may also have the same questions too. But not to worry because in this series, My God Speaks, we are going to cover all these different questions. Be it whether God speaks to us only at meal times, or at bed times, or at shower times, or whether God can only speak to us at some locations like the mountains, or the seas, or in our rooms. It's alright because we are going to learn and grow together. So buckle up and let's go! Woohoo! Alright! So, first thing for everyone to learn as we start off this series, we are going to learn the word prophetic. It's an important word for this series. Have you heard it before? If you have, give me a wave, alright? We use this word a lot in our church, Trinity Christian Centre. And that's because we believe that we are prophetic. So say it with me, we are prophetic! Very good! Okay, so what this means is that as God's children, all of us have the Holy Spirit living in us. And this means that because of the Holy Spirit, we can hear what God is saying. And we can also live out His Word in our lives to bless and impact others. Now, isn't that amazing? I think that's awesome. That's why for the first two weeks of the series, we'll be learning about why we are able to be prophetic. And our main point for today says, God speaks to us and through us. God speaks to us and through us. That's right. So, how do we know that? To help us understand better, we'll be looking into the Word of God. But to make it even more fun, we are going to let Pastor Evelyn lead us in an exciting game. So, Pastor Evelyn, over to you. Hello, boys and girls out Hi. there. Welcome to our Bible Trivial today. Yes. Today, we are going to play a game and I would like you to participate at where you are so you can just mm. join us and do the likewise what we are doing he That's over right. here in the studio. So over here today, we have two contestants with us. First of all, let me introduce, on my left is Brother Nee! And on my right is none other than Sister Faye! So before we move on, mm. I would like to tell you some of the uh, instruction for our game. Okay. So for this Bible trivial is actually very simple. You are going to answer uh, a set of questions. There are a total of six rounds. Six. All right. Six rounds. So each of the question you have to answer with a Bible character's name. Now, but it's not that so so easy because to answer you have to fight for the chance to answer the question. So fight. I'm going to tell you some action. No, no, no. Please don't fight. Don't fight. All right. You will be asked to do a, an action. Ooh, now, the first action. person okay, among okay. the two of you to finish the action will get to answer the question. Alright, so warm up yourself right now and get ready. Okay, boys and girls, you can do the action at where you are as well. So you, maybe you can stand up at where you are now. And then while we are doing this Come here on. in the studio, just join us. Just join us. So the first action that you have to do is to hop on one leg while singing happy birthday song. 
Now, that is just the action, all right? So get ready, but don't do it yet because I'm going to tell you the question now. Now, the question, question for round one is one. in the Bible. Bible, okay. Who is known as the father of many nations? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to all of you. Happy birthday to you. All of you. Okay, looks like Sister Faith managed to finish the song first. So, can we have Sister Faith to answer the question too? In the Bible, who is known as the father of many nations? I think it's Abraham. Right. Yes, the answer is Abraham! Yes! yes. Children, right. did you get it right as well? Give a high five to Sister Faith! Well done. All right, now we are going into round two. Round two, the action is do a star jump and shout, I love Jesus. Star? No, that's not star. Star jump, you know, like you really jump star. high up. That's okay, star. right, yeah. Okay. All right, so here is the question for round two. Who is a boy who was boy? being offered as a sacrifice to God? I love Jesus. <laughs> oh, brother Dick, you are still thinking. Looks like Sister Faith can boy? answer. Mm. Yes, I know. Huh? I know, I know who answer, is the boy answer. who was being offered um, as a sacrifice to God? Who? Isaac. That's right. Isaac ah, is yeah, the answer. Right. Isaac. I totally Good forgot job. about it. It's okay, yeah. it's okay, brother Nick. You still have more exactly. chance to come so up. We are I going to them. have round three right now, okay? Yeah. So right okay. now, let's do a tabulation of your point. So Sister Faith is leading with two points and brother Nick has no point yet. But it's okay, he Zero will catch point. up. He shall catch up, alright? So now we'll go to round three. Yes. Round go three, back. what is the action that you have to do? Is to shout out loud. The usual favorite food of our Discovery I know, I know, I know, Land boy or girl. Yes, I know. I know. All right. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Don't don't say anything yet. We, I'm going to tell you the question for round three. The question is, who is this man who wrestled with an angel? Chicken rice. No, not not chicken rice wrestle, but uh, chicken yes. rice the answer. Yes. So chicken rice is the favorite food for Discovery Land boy or girl. Am I right? That's yes. what your answer? Yes, that's right. Alright, so you get to go this round to answer. Who is the man who wrestled with an angel? It's Jacob. Jacob! Children, do you get the right answer as well? That's yes, right, it's Jacob. Right. Oh, good, good, good. So looks like Brother Nick is catching up. Yeah, so yeah. now we have two one versus go. one point. Three more to go. Yes, we have three more rounds to go. And now we are into okay. round four. Children, get ready. All right, for round four, the action that you have to do is you have to pinch your nose you know? and sing the chorus of Happy Day. All right, so that's the action. Now, let me give you the question now. The question is, the Bible character who saw a burning bush. Oh, happy day, happy day, you'll never be the same. Uh, you you oh. can't remember the song? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's okay! Brother Nick, you get yes. to sing the song. That's right. So, but you have to answer the question. This is so, very easy. Yeah. This Bible character who saw a burning bush, who is that? He's called Noses. Noses? Huh? Do you say Noses? Noses. Um, would you like to try again? We give you another chance. Uh, you, you don't have to pinch your nose anymore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, take okay. a deep breath, take a deep breath and think. Who is the person burning who bush. saw a burning bush? Noah? Noah is not correct! Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, looks like the chance will go to Sister Faith. Sister uh, Faith, you get to answer that question. Who is the person who saw a burning bush? Moses. Yes, the answer oh, is Moses! Yeah. I was so close. Yeah. So close, it's not noses, it's Moses. Alright, good. Can now we are going to move on to the next round. Don't worry, brother Nick, you okay, still have okay. chance to catch up, alright? Last two, last two. Yes. So right now we are going to round five. Round five, you have to spin around five times on the spot okay, while saying Jesus is so good. Alright? 
That is the action. Spin around five times while saying Jesus is so good. Now the question for round five. In the Bible, which warrior won a war with only 300 men? Jesus is so good. 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 Okay, Benedict. Oh, are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. You better steady yourself. All right. Okay, feeling a bit giddy, right? But yeah. never mind. Yeah. All right, brother Nick, you uh -oh. get to answer because you have spin What's five. You you have finished all the action. What's so, the question again? Uh, okay, let me repeat. The question is: In the Bible, which warrior won a war with only three hundred men? Oh, I know, I know. Yes, it's Gideon. And the answer is exactly Gideon. Yes. Good mm. job, brother Nick. Brother Nick, how many points have you gained right now? Two points. Two points. And Sister Faith, you have three, three points. Wow, it is very close. Catch up, catch up. And now, Sister Faith, you just need to answer the I next one and you will be the winner for the day. And Brother Nick, you have to try to stop her from winning. So now, this is the final round. Are you That's ready? Right. Are you ready for final round? Yep. Come, join us, join us. Alright, so the final round in round six. The action is you have to spell the word power, P-O-W-E-R, bad word. Alright, so now, don't think so much. The question is, who is the child who heard God calling him while he was sleeping? I know, R-E-W-P. R-E-W-W-W. -E -W -W. I said ready. Really. Not W-W, there's no two W, -E -W there's only one W, there's no double W. Yes, Brother Nick, I heard you. You are right. Yes, so can you answer the question now? Who is the boy who heard God calling him while he was sleeping? Who is this Bible character? Boy again. Hmm. Yeah, it's a boy. Yes, he was young. Samuel? Samuel, that's right. The answer what? is Samuel. I got it right. Got it right. <laughs> yes. And boys and girls, did you get all the answers correctly? Today, we are so happy because both our contestants each has got three points each. Three point. And it's a tie! Would you like to give each other a high five? No, air five, that's right. Alright, so boys and girls, I wonder if you have managed to answer all of them correctly. That's right. Well, if you have done so, you have all six answers correct, I would like you to give yourself a good pet. On your back. That's right. So here is the fun fact. Did you know that God actually spoke to all these Bible character that we talked about just now? It was because God spoke that all of them actually caught something that God wanted them to know. Well, I won't say any further because Sister Hui En is going to tell us more. Let's go! That's right. Now, let's find out a bit more about what God revealed to each of these Bible characters. In Genesis, we see that God revealed to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob the blessings that He wanted to give to them. He told them about the plans He had for them, their children, their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren and, well, you get the idea. What about Moses? In the book of Exodus, Moses had the famous burning bush encounter and God revealed his special task for Moses to bring the people out of Egypt. What about Gideon? Ah, Gideon. God spoke directly to Gideon in the book of Judges and told him who he was. He said that Gideon was a mighty warrior. Wow, imagine that. Once again, God revealed His plan to use Gideon, the mighty warrior, to win the war for Israel. Last but never the least, I'm sure you remember Samuel. God spoke directly to Samuel as well when he was just a boy. And as Samuel grew and grew, God continued to speak in and through him to Israel. So, boys and girls, I've given you six characters from the Old Testament, but there were many others who heard God speaking to them. Many of these were kings, priests, messengers chosen by God to deliver His plans to save His people. Now, some of you, especially the preteens, you might be wondering, what about the New Testament, Sister Huyen? Did God speak? 
And my answer to you is yes, he definitely did. Now, the New Testament tells us that God himself came to earth to speak to people. Now tell me, boys and girls, who did he come as? Yes, you got it right. He came as Jesus. Jesus came in human flesh. He walked and talked among people. And after Jesus rose from the grave and went to heaven, he sent someone very important to come and be with all of us. Who was this person? You got it right! It's the Holy Spirit! Well, the book of Acts is filled with stories about how the Holy Spirit directed the church and the different apostles in preaching the good news. It was the Holy Spirit who told the church to set two apostles apart for missions. Who were these two? Barnabas and Paul. And even after that, it was the Holy Spirit who told Barnabas and Paul where to go and who to go to. So boys and girls, there's something that we need to realize here. And save me, God speaks. One more time, God speaks. God wants to speak and God is always speaking to us. God loves us as His children and that's why the Bible says, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. So boys and girls, as His children who have the Holy Spirit in us, we are prophetic. We can hear God speaking to us and God wants to use us to be His mouthpiece in this world. And that's why our power word today is from Isaiah 55 verse 11. Read it together with me. One, two, three. So is my word that goes up from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire. Amen. Our power word tells us that God speaks and God wants to do great things through us. But this is where our response and our willingness to listen to God makes a big difference. And that's why today we can learn from our application point one, which says this, I will have a posture of hunger. No, 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 I don't mean to be hungry for food. Even though it looks very nice. See that? Oh, is that sushi? Oh, wow, the noodles looks awesome. Oh, wow, that chicken. Oh, no, 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 no. No, this is not what I meant, boys and girls. When I say we need to be hungry, what I meant is that we need to be hungry for God. Can you imagine what would happen if we were totally uninterested in hearing God speak to us? Hmm... Wei-en, how was your day today? Your father is in need of a listening ear. How about you take some time to find out how he's doing? Wei-en, can you hear me? So boys and girls, if you see me doing all of this, does this show that I have any interest in hearing what God wants to say to me? No, it doesn't. Instead, it shows that I'm totally uninterested in God. I don't even want to listen to Him. But when we hunger after God, it means that we want to love Him more and more every day. And when we love someone, we make time to listen to that person, don't we? So in the same way, when we love God, our hearts will want God more and more. We will always be ready to hear Him when He speaks to us anytime. And that's why, boys and girls, it's so important to keep our hearts open and hungry for more of God. And our application point two also tells us, I will have a posture of faith. Say it with me one more time. I will have a posture of faith.
Hi everyone, I'm Sister Yancheng from the Preteen Service. Uh, today I'd like to share with you a testimony on my journey of faith. In 2011, I finished university and I was uh, looking for a job. For several months, I sent out job applications and I went for job interviews, but I did not receive a job offer. After about three months, I was feeling uh, very disappointed. I was feeling very restless and I asked God again and again if He actually heard my prayers. At about that same time, a leader in our church approached me and she asked if uh, I would like to join her for a missions impact trip to the Philippines. You know, deep in my heart, I really want to go but I was hesitant because I did not have money. But I want to believe and I chose to believe that you know, if I obey God to go for the missions impact trip, that he too will be faithful and he will also hear my prayers. I signed up for the trip and God is amazing because just two days before I was set to depart for this mission impact trip to the Philippines, I received a job offer. You know, God is so good. I actually get to go for the mission impact trip and on top of that, I have a job right after I came back. And you know, children, my journey of faith uh, wasn't just this one encounter in 2011 because two years later, around 2013, I was in this juncture of my life again where I was actually looking to move on to a new job. I went for job interviews and I was disappointed because uh, I got rejected. And just at that point in time, God called me again to go for a mission impact trip and this time around it was to go to Cambodia. I signed up for it and I went for it because I know that God is faithful if I obey Him. And indeed, God did not disappoint because two days after I came back from the mission trip to Cambodia, I received a job offer and it really shows that you know God is faithful when we obey Him. All glory to God. What a powerful testimony that was. Remember what we said at the start of our lesson today? We are, yes, we are prophetic. We can hear God speaking to us. And God is always speaking to us. We don't need to be near the church or in the actual building just to hear God speak because God can speak anywhere we are. And we don't need to wait until meal times or bed times just to hear God speak. God can speak at any time of the day. He even woke young Samuel up in the middle of the night. And so boys and girls, our God speaks. And He will never stop speaking to you, to me, to all of us because He loves us and He wants to talk to us. He spoke in the past to Abraham and Isaac and different ones. He spoke to the disciples. He spoke to the early church. And even today, He is speaking to us. And today, I believe that He is speaking into your heart right now. Some of you might think that God doesn't speak to you, but that's not true. Because I believe that right now, He is drawing you close to Him to hunger for more of Him, to believe and have faith that God sees you and He loves you. And so today, boys and girls, will you choose to open your heart to God and allow Him to draw you to Him? So come, let's pray together. Let's bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's say this prayer together. Dear Jesus, Today, I have learned that you are always speaking. You spoke in the past. You will speak in the days to come. And even now, you are already speaking. I open my heart to you. I open my ears to you. Speak, God because I want to know you more. Help me to have a posture of hunger, a posture of faith, to know that when I pray to you, you listen and you answer. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, there's another group of you that I want to talk to. For some of you, maybe you are here for the very first time. And maybe you have never asked Jesus to come into your life before. But today, I would love to give you a chance to do so. You see, Jesus came to this earth and died on the cross so that you can be forgiven because we are not perfect. We do wrong things sometimes. But even then, Jesus loves you and Jesus wants to be your friend. So if you want to know this wonderful God, wherever you are, just place one hand over your heart. That's right, and repeat this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, Thank you for dying on the cross for me. I'm sorry for all the wrong things I have said, thought or done that is wrong. Please forgive me of all my sins. Please come into my life and be my Lord and Saviour. Thank you, Jesus, for your love for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That's right. If you have just said that prayer, I rejoice with you because now you are a Christian. You are a child of God and we are all one family together in the kingdom of God. And so if you if you have just said this prayer with us, even though we can't see you face to face right now, but not to worry, we still want to connect with you. And what you can do is to go to our Trinity app to find out more about us. Or you can email in to this email to connect with us and we would love to know more about you. Okay, so Come back next week for our second part of our series, My God Speaks. See you next week. Bye. Wow, wasn't that a wonderful lesson? I'm sure you have been blessed. Now children, we would love to connect with you. So if you would like to send us a question or, or testimony or even a video of yourself, you can do so via this email address. We would love to hear from you. Now, here's a reminder that the lesson notes for today as well as our time alone with God for you for the week can all be found in our Trinity app via our Discovery Land pack. So head over there and you can download the lesson notes for today as well as your time alone with God. Now, here's a special message just for preteens. For those of you who are 10 to 12 years old, we have a connect group just for you and it's via our Zoom platform. Now, so here are the details on the screen. You can see the login details as well as the password. They are all on the screen. Now, there are three timings that you can join us. Alright, so what are the timings? They are on Saturday, 6 p.m., Sunday, 9.30 a.m., and Sunday, 12 p.m. So go ahead and log in during those timings and we look forward to seeing you. Thank you once again for joining us this week. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Goodbye!